What is enterprise architecture? Let's start by taking a closer look at some of the typical characteristics of an enterprise. The purpose of an enterprise is normally do business and ultimately to make money. To achieve this, everything starts with a business idea created by one or more people who then go on to define a business vision and strategy. To put the vision and strategy into effect, a number of capabilities have to be established within the enterprise. This depends greatly on the type of business, of course. These capabilities are required in several areas of the enterprise. It might be necessary to take on new people with a specific set of skills, for example. A building might be required, as well as specific machines or other working materials. The work to be done will hopefully be structured into clear processes. Parts of these might be steps to be performed by people working with machines, others by people working with computers. So we typically see steps where assistance from IT is of great value. This IT part of the enterprise typically involves devices for the employees and might end up with any kind of system based in the backend or in the cloud. We can already see that there is a lot to do in order to get the enterprise up and running. And of course, this is just a very simplified version of what might really happen. In order to avoid becoming entangled in this ever-increasing complexity, it is very important to maintain a clear and structured picture of the enterprise. Enterprise architecture helps to draw a holistic and structured view in order to describe the whole enterprise from a business and IT perspective. This includes elements such as value, business processes, required information and applications, the data that is generated, and infrastructure required by the enterprise in question. Enterprise architecture comes with a set of methods and models that help to create this kind of picture. And standards are available, for example from the Open Group Architecture Framework, TOGAF. The most interesting thing about enterprise architecture, however, is not just how it describes these different layers within the enterprise. The really interesting thing is to understand how these layers relate to each other and how they work together. A perfectly modeled enterprise architecture would enable you to perform a systematic up and down traversal between these layers. This would allow you to understand which business values are connected with which IT infrastructure or system or which data is required by which process to support which value. You might be wondering how all this is related to UX. Like other hot topics, UX is in fact an integral part of your enterprise and can be structured taking into consideration the methods and thinking behind enterprise architecture. In upcoming videos, we will show you how you can turn this to your advantage. If you enjoyed this video, let us know and leave a comment. To see more of our videos, go to sap.com slash UX Explorer.